Here's our students from some of America's finest colleges and universities showing exactly what they learn every week on the key called College Math America's top universities and colleges compete in a battle of brains and brawn, featuring some fairly outrageous stunts and a lot of very difficult questions as well. At the end of the game, the winning team gets to run through the college madhouse, which is set up right behind me here to win some prizes for themselves and a lot of scholarship money for their school. So it's all for a good cause. And now to introduce today's teams, here is Bo Weeper. First dial from Gainesville, Florida. Here come the team from the University of Florida. Hi, I'm Alvaro Nesta, I'm the captain of our team. I'm a sophomore at the University of Florida, and I'm a political science major. Go Gators! Hi, I'm Tammy Hoffer, I'm a junior major in advertising. Hi, I'm Allie Bystrong, and I'm a sophomore major in graphic design. How you doing? My name's Rich Wall, and I'm a senior in advertising. You at... Woo! Hello. Okay, and obviously they do have an opposing team here today. Well, who is that? Deposing the University of Florida from Tallahassee, Florida. Here come the team from Florida State University. You summon all. Hi, my name is Sharon Clay. I'm the team captain. I'm a sophomore communications major. Hi, my name is Doug Powell. I'm a junior major in finance. No. Hi, my name is Stacy Lindy. I'm a sophomore communication major at Florida State University. Junior majoring in mathematics at the Florida State University. Let's get some And right now we're going to bring in our referees that make this job so easy. Donna Wilson and Richard McGregor, right back here. Okay, in this uh, first part of the game, our teams earn points by competing, as we said before, in some very physical stunts and answering some questions. We're going to get started with a fairly interesting stunt right now. Captains, we need all of your teams right over here. Okay, set it up. Well, in this next stunt, we're going to be making uh, spaghetti and meatballs like you've probably never seen it before. Uh, over here in these containers, we have what are apparently some giant meatballs. I'm not going to touch them. They're fairly disgusting. We need you to pick these up and pass them over to these giant plates of spaghetti sitting down here. And uh, your job is to get as many balls into the plates as possible in the quickest amount of time. Teams, we need you to lie down head to toe right now. Go, go. When I say go, the player, how you doing there, okay? All right, player closest, which would be you down here to the meatballs, you're gonna pick them up and pass them back to your next player and so on and so on down the line until you drop the meatballs in the plate. Uh, but teams, you gotta use your feet. That's the trick here. No hands whatsoever, and the team with the most balls in their plate at the end of 30 seconds picks up 25 points. Simple enough. Let's start the clock. And go! the buzzer florida up to their old tricks again so we can't count that can't. what can i do all right you guys one two three four five six for florida state and over here from the university of florida one two three four five six seven florida you take it we're gonna go over here right now and award you guys some stunts team captains we need you for a question Team captains up here. Well, and so uh, after the first stunt, Florida, you're up 25-0 over Florida State, but you have a chance to redeem yourself 
right here, young lady, with this question. As any Italian can tell you, the giant spaghetti that you just played with is a kind of pasta. Which of the following is also a kind of pasta? Zucchini, puccini, fettuccine. Fettuccine. That's absolutely right. Laura, that takes that for 25 points. At the end of our first time, it is Florida with 50 Florida states. It's absolutely nothing, unfortunately. You got a chance to come back. We're going to be back right after this with more college Matt Allen. Greg, remember the last time that you shared a sleeping bag with somebody of the opposite sex? Well, that's exactly what is going to happen in this particular stunt. Here's how it works. It's simple enough. We've got two team members from each team in these sleeping bags. How you doing in there? Good, good. Uh, we're going to take a couple of these balls. In fact, we've already got them in these bins here. You're going to grab one ball with your teeth, sir. Roll it all the way back down the mat and drop it into the bins on either side. And uh, at the end of 45 seconds, the team with the most balls in this chocolate sauce Picks up 25 points. So if we can set the clock, and we are ready. Let's go! go. Disgusting five! And for the University of Florida, one, two, three. Florida State takes it. 25 points for these guys. We're going to go back to the base and award the points. Okay, good job there. So, Florida State, you grabbed 25 points there. Florida, you still have the lead with 50, but you guys can set it straight with this question right now. Your teammates were just zipped up in sleeping bags. Which of these human body parts does a zipper have? A tongue? Teeth? Yes, University of Florida. Teeth. That's absolutely right. For 25 points. So Florida now with 75. Florida State, you guys got 25. We're going to go up to the pool right now and join your teammates. Let's go. in you. It is called sea otters because just like sea otters, the girls are going to be lying on their backs on these boogie boards that are right here. And we're going to put those in the water right now. Florida State, your ball will be red. University of Florida, your game balls will be blue. When I say go, our referees are going to throw the balls into the pool. Your job is to grab them with your teeth. Girls, grab the balls out of your teammates' teeth and stuff them into your suit. The girls with the most balls in her suit at the end of 45 seconds picks up 25 points. Could we set the clock, please? And go! Step on up here. Not bad there. A little chilly in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure it is. Girls, we can get you right here on either side. 
Okay, obviously, it's just a matter now of who has the most Nerf balls stuffed in their suit. I'm going to let you girls go ahead and count them as you can pull them out one at a time and just throw them into the pool. We'll start with Florida State. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, right? Very nicely done. I hope so. And now the University of Florida. How you All doing right. there? What's Woo! up? Why don't you go ahead and just count them out for us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Well, so uh, Florida, with the amazing swimming suit stunt, picks up another 25 points there. So Florida now with 100, Florida State. You're trailing with only 25. There's a chance for another 25. In that last stunt, your teammates played the role of the sea otter, which is a marine mammal. Which of these animals is also a marine mammal? The octopus, the dolphin, the whale shark. The Florida whale State. Shark. No, that's wrong. Florida? Dolphin. That's absolutely right. You guys picked up another 25. Amazing. So Florida now with 125, Florida State with 25. That's the end of this particular stunt round. That means it's time for our college madhouse finals. And that event's going to either lead, well, Florida or Florida State to all the prizes and scholarship cash waiting back in the college madhouse. Still anybody's game, so get ready. We'll be back. Oh. This is it. Today's college madhouse finals. One minute and 30 seconds of lightning action and some uh, fairly difficult questions, which I'm holding here. At stake, a crack at all the cash and prizes in our college madhouse, right back here. Here's how it works. Our teams are going to line up facing each other. In fact, why don't you guys go ahead and step up here, if you would. First player's in line. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer. Race to hit the signal first, obviously. If you come up with the right answer, you're going to pick up 25 points and the opportunity to nail your opponent with a penalty. In this particular case, it's some sort of chocolate pudding pie, it looks like. Then, when I say next, you two are going to go to the back of the line. The next two are going to step up. We'll continue on like that for a minute and 30 seconds. Then we're going to check the score and find out who's going to the madhouse. The category today is sports fans. So we're going to set the clock now for a minute and 30 seconds, if we could. Here comes your first question. What score is considered perfect in a game of bowling? Florida State. 300. That's absolutely right. Nail into the back of the line. Hulk Hogan and Rod, Rowdy Rodney Piper are athletes of what? That's right. Nail into the back of the line. What American sport has its roots in the British sport of cricket? Florida State. Good, good, good. No, that's wrong. Florida, do you have an answer for it? No, that's wrong. You're both wrong. To the back of the line. In what sport do you lunge at your partner and defend yourself? University of Florida. Fencing? Nailer. <laughs> is one of the most famous living athletes. What is his professional name? Florida State. Magic. That's right. Naylor into the back of the line. 25 points in any given football play. Which player is responsible for hiking the ball? University of Florida. Center. That's right. Naylor into the back of the line. As a racer in the Tour de France, what is your vehicle? Question. University of Florida. Bicycle. That's right. Naylor. To the back of the line. How many holes on a PGA regulation golf course are there? Yes, University of Florida. 18. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Number 25. And what sport do the letters TKO signify? Florida State. Technical knockout. That's right. Knockout. <laughs> and which sport does love mean zero? University of Florida. That's right, nail into the back of the line. What sport would you be playing if your ultimate goal was the Stanley Cup? Florida State. <laughs> We'll give you the chance there, Sean. Hockey is right. Nail him to the back of the line. You pick up another 25. And that is it. Florida with 
250. You guys are going to the back. Water State, you guys played a great game, and to make the school even more proud of you, we're donating $500 in your name to the Florida State Scholarship Fund. Plus, we got a little something for each of you, which Bo is going to tell you about right now. All contestants receive British Knights. Get off on the right foot, get off in BK. British Knights Athletic Footwear for guys, gals, and kids. Do British Knights the right move for you. And for the leading name in sportswear, comes a whole new collection for the fall. Kitano Sportswear for Juniors, designed to fit your lifestyle. <laughs> for your school that we talked about. And you guys in the audience, you might want to come on down because we're going into the madhouse. We will see you in just a moment. of Florida. This is your chance to run through our college madhouse right back here. Capture $1,000 for the University of Florida and a bunch of great prizes for yourself. Uh, first of all, Bo, I believe, is going to tell us what is in today's madhouse. You'll enter the college madhouse through our campus quad. Take a splash in a hot tub heaven. Grab the cash tag. Then head on up to the top of the bunny slope on Steam Mountain, where you'll find this prize tag for the Pro Form Rower with smooth ball bearing action, adjustable hydraulic, seven function electronic console, and comfortable padded seat. Advanced rowing furnished by Pro Form Fitness Products. Lots of gold gym fitness and workout apparel and shoes, nutritional supplements, and membership certificates that keep you healthy, trim, and in style, furnished by Gold's Gym. Or oh, you could crawl through our shrinking hallway to the campus sapateria, where one of your opponents will give you a $100 cash tag plus a shot of whipped cream. Then, all the way up to the campus laundromat, where inside this crazy washing machine, you'll find Pivotar's Tech 155 autofocus camera with zoom lens built in beautiful 35 millimeter picture from Phoenix to Portrait. Tech 155 furnished by Vivitar. Plus, Emerson's portable AMFM dual cassette high-speed dubbing deck features four speakers plus a super woofer speaker, a fine product furnished by Emerson. Max, upstairs to check out your roommate from hell, who's hidden a prize tag for GMI's lightning fast roller hockey game table, super slick surface to slap, zip, block, and attack, test your reflexes, exciting and convenient furnished by GMI. Plus, a Grand Slam video game package includes the Nintendo Entertainment System, Acclaimed Wireless Remote Controller, and hot new Airwolf game and other blockbusters furnished by Acclaimed. Plus, $1,000 in cash for your college scholarship fund, all in today's Madhouse. When I say go, we're going to have you tear into the Madhouse, which is sitting there behind us. Grab all the cash and prize tags that you possibly can in 30 seconds, and then you're going to hear this buzzer. When you hear that, you got to stop grabbing tags because, player two, it is your turn to enter the college madhouse, capture all the things you can get your hands on. We're going to keep on like that until all of you have had a chance at your 30 seconds in the house. Listen, if all four of you clean house, and that means capturing all 13 tags in today's house, we're going to send the four of you on an incredible vacation. Bo, where exactly are we're these kids going? going to Cancun, Mexico. We'll be flying you to Fiesta Americana Contessa Cancun. Clear turquoise waters and powdery white sands. Impeccable service for your dining pleasure. Sophisticated relaxation furnished by Fiesta Americana Contessa Cancun. Okay, now because there are 13 tags, as I said, in the madhouse, we're going to set our tag counter at 13, please. And we're going to set the clock. And are you ready? High five me. Best of luck. Go! Come on, Timmy! Hey.
Hey, you guys. Come on down. Well, hey, good game. Well, you guys did, obviously did not clean house completely. You had one left, which wow. isn't too bad. That's really good. As a matter of fact, you pick up $900. Got a 35-millimeter cassette recorder right here. <laughs> Hockey game and video games. Those are nice. Uh, and last but not least, exercise rower and gym wear right there. <laughs> You guys did a great job. We're going to bring up our runner-up team right now. And thank you all you players for a great game. Good job. That was very nicely done. For Donna and Richard, I'm Greg Kinnear. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Our combination for each wide of Beverly Gall and Hogan. For the Asian West, Lorimar Television, and distributed by one of Robert's domestic television distribution.